So for today, we're going to be looking at the dungeon tier list for Destiny 2. If you guys don't know, we did a tier list for the season pass armor. It's right here. You guys can check it out. And for that one, it was really, really fun. We basically just went through all of the season pass armor sets and reviewed all of them on the spot. Nothing too crazy, uh, mostly just through pictures because I don't want these videos to be super duper in depth because they're tier lists. These are supposed to be fun. So let me know if you guys appreciate this. Let me know if you guys agree with the tiers. Other than that, let's get into it. So the amount of armor sets that I have for you is only four. Technically, there is a dungeon where you get two armor sets, which is the prophecy dungeon. That one, you do get two armor sets, which is the uh, the basic one, the Dido one. And then you get the trials of the nine armor set. The trials of the nine armor sets tech is not an armor set. It's from trials of the nine, which was an old activity from this thing too. I have it here because I have, have to have a minimum of five pictures. And I will tier review it because you do get it from a dungeon. So I will do that. So to start off, I think the prophecy armor is a good A tier armor set. I want to put it at B, but I feel like that's too disrespectful because the armor is just so unique. Uh, let me explain my thought process. So start off with the hunter. The hunter, unfortunately, has a lot of the same problems that the other classes will have. So I this is pretty much for everyone aside for the warlocks. Um, the arms and the boots, you guys will see that one side is blue and one side is pink. Uh, unfortunately, that's how it's going to shader. So unless you have a shader that combines all the armor set armor pieces into one color, you will see different colors for each of the sides. So it is very asymmetrical, which is very unfortunate because the hunters have some really cool arms and the Titans have some really cool boots and arms as well. Uh, speaking of Titans, I think the chest piece is also a piece that doesn't change color, uh, specifically the white line or the yet like the off white color uh, on the chest piece doesn't change color, which is very annoying. Uh, speaking of off white technique, well, not off white, but the Hunter's uh, visor, actually the visor for all the classes don't change color, but specifically for the Hunter, the white like plating does not change color. Uh, Warlocks, same thing. The white horn and the white pieces on the sides don't change color as well, which is very unfortunate. And the Dido uh, symbol does not change color as well. There's just so many issues with this whole armor set that I want. I put it in A because the armor set is very unique and cool. But as like individual pieces go, it will be like B tier for sure. So I'm gonna be I'm gonna put it at B tier because it is cool. But there's just so many problems with this armor set that I cannot in good conscience put it in A. Because just talking about it, I'm like, that's right. This armor is very limiting because of just the amount of problems it has. Because the Hunter's chest piece also has pieces that doesn't change color. Um, the cloak is really cool, but again, the Dido does not change color. So you're going to have Dido on the back. The, the Warlocks, the arms have different colorations as well. The chest piece has a big ass Dido on almost everywhere. And I'm pretty sure there's a piece in the chest piece that doesn't change color. And the helmet also is pretty terrible because the visor is says green. And the white on the horn and the sides don't change color as well. The boots are cool, but like, eh. Yeah, overall, I'm just very annoyed with this set just because a lot of pieces look cool. Geometry, like speaking from just like the design of the armor, it looks really cool. But when you start like trying to mix and match shaders and whatnot, then you'll start noticing the really big glaring issues that this armor has. As for the Trials of the Nine Armor, I'm going to put it in B tier as well because it does have it does share a lot of the same problems that the Dido armor has just because um, a lot of the armor, to be fair, a lot of the armor does change color, but it's also because a lot of the armor takes a lot of inspiration from like the Crucible armor for, for Destiny 2 Vanilla because this is a vanilla Destiny 2 armor set. So a lot of the armor you'll notice like uh, this reminds me of this armor from this activity because back then we had a lot of armor like that specifically like the crucible armor for hunters there's like three armor sets that you actually four armor sets that you can find similar pieces uh because you, you had the new monarchy armor you had the pvp armor you had the world drop armor and then you had the trials of the nine armor so you had four pieces of kind of the same armor so that's why i put it at b just because of that that alone now we get to the cool portion, which is Grasp of Avarice. I think this is S tier. This is one of the best armor sets you can go for if you want to go for a hive inspired look, uh, just because this is one of the best ones until we get Crota, um, the Crota raid armor, because I think the Crota raid armor is just amazing. Uh, but I'm really happy that we got a really, really cool armor set for this because 
uh we needed it we definitely needed it and i can really gush about this armor a lot like i think the titans have some dope pieces the boots are really cool the arms are cool and the mark is really cool i think the chest piece and the helmet are like very missed opportunities in my opinion warlocks i think the helmet is okay but the arms the chest piece and the boot ah, boots are okay but the chest piece and arms are definitely the best portions of this and the bond is also super fucking cool just unfortunate that you can't change the color of the glow hunters uh the arms are cool a little asymmetrical but it's fine the boots are also super cool again some asymmetrical but i think the boots are super cool the cloak is definitely going to be the best piece from the whole set and the helmet is probably the worst piece from the whole set and the chest piece is fine so definitely s tier definitely probably one of the best armor sets in the game next up we have duality and this one is going to be rough just because i know a lot of people did not like this armor i am going to put it in a tier and i know i know i want to put it higher because i want to put it like right here if i'm being quite honest i want to put it here and the reason i want to put it here is because i think each class ate really well um the hunters got some really cool pieces i think the boots are super cool the chest piece for sure is the best piece from the whole set the cloak is cool as well the arms the helmet are the only pieces where i'm like these are terrible but the chest piece is such a cool, cool piece for a tactical look same thing for the boots and the cloak is also really cool um the titans helmet is a banger of a helmet chest piece banger of a chest piece boots banger bro the mark is e i even like the mark which is really wild the only piece i don't like are the arms because they're too scrawny for everything else the warlocks i think the helmet is super dope i think the chest piece is legitimately super fucking cool the arms are super cool boots are super cool the only thing i don't like is the bond i think the bond is pretty terrible but other than that i think everyone ate well you know what yeah i'm gonna leave it at s just because not only is this armor really cool but i'm also looking at it from like a pieces perspective because from pieces there's so many good pieces on this like i'm not even kidding when i go for a tactical look i always have a piece of this set just because a lot of it is super cool the thing that kind of kills me though is this cowboy set as much as i love it i'm gonna put it at a tier and i know that's gonna be wild for some people um my my biggest gripe about this armor is that i think i feel like there's just so many missed opportunities because let's okay let's get started real quick so first and foremost my biggest problem with this and this is probably new for you guys but my biggest problem with this armor set is just how lacking it feels like the hunter chest piece i think is pretty terrible i think it's super super bad but everything else is pretty good i think the helmet is okay the biggest thing they could have done though is separate the cloak for the hat i think that was a smart choice because then we can start using other helmets which is really really cool so my my hat off to fucking bungee for doing that because that was a smart choice the arms super cool i love the arms the boots are super cool as well um hunters i really have no complaints aside from the chest piece because my my complaints mostly come from the warlock and the titan i think the titan helmet fucking cool i think it's such a smart choice um the arms is where i'm kind of like eh, the arms are fine boots definitely bad i don't like the boots at all the mark is okay i think actually the mark is that probably one of the better marks uh class items because i think the warlock got really gypped in this one i think the chest piece although cool i don't like the collar i think the collar is pretty terrible the hat i'm i've been saying this since i saw this armor uh the 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 warlock hat gives off pinhead larry vibes and i fucking hate that and don't tell me don't ask me who pinhead larry is it was just a fucking reference from spongebob and for some reason that hat just reminds me of pinhead larry and i hate it i think it's just the fact that it doesn't look like a proper cowboy helmet. It just looks like ah, it looks like a fucking farmer's hat. And that's probably my biggest gripe about it because the hunter or the yeah, the hunter and the Titan have some dope cowboy hats. The warlocks have like that fucking peasant cowboy hat that they used. Uh, like, I don't know. You just the, the cowboy hats not good. The helmet is fucking terrible. I'm going to be real with you guys it just looks bad like you know what it probably is it's probably the fact that like the hunter uh hat actually has like this right here 
this this like leather task or like it goes under the chin that's probably why it reminds me of pinhead larry just because it looks so geeky and i don't like that i also just hate the helmet i think the helmet is fucking terrible um arms pretty terrible as well i'm not the biggest fan of it and since i'm on my warlock i can actually just show you guys real quick so so when it comes to the cowboy stuff i i put it to a because the warlocks really got gypped hard i okay so like like let me explain my thought process that bond that bond is the worst fucking bond in the game right now for me it, it's bad it's so fucking bad um i think i would have just preferred an actual like ox bond like engraved in the bond and not like i'm not like just engraving but like actual like geometry making it look like an actual ox head um and then you can have like the eyes have like fire coming out like something like that would have been better than just an iron bond with a fucking hologram hologram on it that's like my biggest issue with warlock bonds it's just a fucking iron piece with an holographic thing on it and i think that's obscenely lazy because we could have just had something way cooler like legitimately imagine the geometry like this made of a of like an iron uh an iron ox and then horns coming out on the sides and then the eyes would actually be glowing fire i think that would have been way better because then at that point it'd be like whoa that looks super cool instead of fucking this which looks super boring boots i think uh sh i don't think they're good at all i think this would have been better on titans um and just add a little bit more armor because the titan boots i don't like at all and i think uh titans and warlocks should, should have definitely swapped um my other issue is the chest piece looks fucking weird like it just looks super at least on women it looks super weird for males it probably looks okay but like for we females it just looks weird like i don't know what it is let me know what you guys think but like right here it just looks super weird um i, I get what they're doing um i just don't know if i like it enough and yeah the collar is fine i definitely would have liked if the collar was a little bit more high up but i definitely think the helmet is just fucking terrible it's it's the strap right here that really fucking does it in for me and the actual helmet doesn't help at all like the fact that they just went with a visor for the for the warlock is just terrible they should have just given you like a human face type thing for like like the hunters i think the hunters got a really good helmet um even the titans titans got such a good helmet and i'm not talking about the hat i'm talking like actual helmet geometry so end game let's go titans real quick because I think the Titans got some really cool ones. Like, look at this. This is such a cool, like, like a really cool, like, mouthpiece with an eye slot. I think that's super cool. And the Hunters essentially got the same thing. Uh, actually, I think I got we got a little bit, bit of a better piece for sure. Yeah, like, I think this is super cool as well. So, if Warlocks had got it like a similar helmet like this, where it's like just like eye slot and then a mouthpiece and then something else, I think that helmet or the, yeah, the helmet would have been such a dub. But unfortunately, they went with, you know, the visor face, which is very unfortunate. And I know some people are going to give me shit for saying I like the the warlock helmet for the uh, duality armor, but not this one. And the reason I like the duality one is because it's more catered to like an armor set of like being bulky, like 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 a soldier type shit. And the cowboy one doesn't look good with the visor because it doesn't it doesn't necessarily give off the vibe of a cowboy so that's why this is unfortunately at a it's just so many issues that i have with a lot of the armor pieces granted the hunter all of it's super dope except the chest piece i hate the chest piece even though i i know that would be the correct thing to, for a cowboy to wear i still don't like it um but warlocks you guys just have so many problems the arms are also not that great in my opinion there's just so many issues and honestly i that's why i just have it at a because just too, too many issues for me to be like yeah this is s tier because again these two right here that that are at s tier so many cool pieces like so many cool pieces all of the set looks cohesive and dope i have no complaints about any of them and then we get when we get to this one i'm like well warlocks got dicked hard on this one titans there's some pieces where i'm not i don't agree with and the warlock and the hunter like i said only the chest piece i don't like um and for these two uh the trials of the nine armor it's just honestly you shouldn't even be here but because i had to have five pictures you are here and i've already explained my thought process on this one this one i 
I again, I don't want to talk too much about this one. It's just the fact that you're very limited on the colors and how they shader and the helmets having different visor colors and also having pieces that don't change colors is very unfortunate. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming up to this point. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.